Back in the day, a popular game was released on the Super Nintendo and Game Boy called Tetris Attack, or panelled upon if you're Japanese. To be honest, it was nothing like Tetris, however the strong Tetris brand name was a surefire way to shift puzzle-based games. With the explosion of Pokemon as a franchise, it was no surprise that the license would be slapped on many games or spin-offs made using the Pokemon name. This brings us to Pokemon Puzzle League, a year 2000 release on the N64 which is essentially a reskinned version of Tetris Attack which was developed by NST and Intelligent Systems and then published by Nintendo. Pokemon Puzzle League does little to reinvent the Tetris Attack gameplay, but don't let that fool you into thinking that this isn't a game worth picking up. It's one of the better puzzle games on the N64 and here's why. Like Tetris, Pokemon Puzzle League is a game which is simple to play but takes time to master. Anyone can pick up and play this game, but learning advanced techniques takes time and patience. There are six game modes and the gameplay is a mix of classic 2D Tetris Attack and also a 3D cylindrical mode where you can clear blocks in a 3D environment. The gameplay is simple. You line up three blocks or more of the same colour and they are removed from your game board. The blocks keep rising from the bottom and your opponents can send blocks to the top of your screen by getting block combos. Once you master this gameplay style, you then want to quickly learn how to perform chain combos by linking combos together to completely obliterate your opponents. Pokemon Puzzle League is a game which you need to play quickly and aggressively. Unlike some other puzzlers where you have time to look and make a plan, Pokemon Puzzle League rewards you for having quick reflexes and then the training mode in the game will take you from a rookie to a master in no time. Now you're probably wondering what this game actually does with the Pokemon license. Pokemon fans may be a little disappointed, as apart from being set in the Pokemon Kingdom, there is little to tie the actual Pokemon into the game. There are 15 characters from the anime to choose from, and you also have a choice of Pokemon to play as, however they do not affect the game at all. Your choice of Pokemon simply changes which sounds you get during the gameplay. Now speaking of the sounds, this game really nails it. From the N64 MIDI style versions of classic Pokemon songs and themes you'll know from the TV series, to the voice acting by the original TV voice actors. There is also a range of music that it doesn't become irritating, it actually adds to the game I feel. I also like how the music speeds up into a more aggressive beat when you're getting close to losing or defeating an opponent. It really adds tension to the matches. Graphically the game is also great looking. The game board is in 2D, however everything looks sharp, bright and colourful and the artwork is taken straight from the TV series making you feel instantly at home. There are also video sequences which were created by the original anime team and this really brings you into the game. The story is weak, but come on, this is a puzzle game and so the story has very little to play into the whole scheme of things. Essentially, Ash is invited to take part in a Pokemon Puzzle League tournament and that's it. In the game's main one player mode you'll work your way to face different Pokemon trainers from the TV series and if you defeat them you'll win badges. The game's learning curve is perfect and it gradually eases you into the game before things start to get really challenging. I have no friends, but if you do then the multiplayer mode should give you a lot of fun especially if your friends are also Pokemon fans. Like most puzzle games, there's a great satisfaction when you beat someone sitting right next to you and being able to see your opponent's screen makes it even sweeter when you see them miss a huge combo opportunity. All in all, Pokemon Puzzle League is a great game. It works not because it's a Pokemon game, but because the Tetris Attack engine is so solid. The fact there's a Pokemon theme gives it a cool underlying look and feel and a certain charm you can't help but like. It's a shame they didn't take the Pokemon license further in the game by having your choice of Pokemon affect the game or giving your Pokemon abilities which you can use during your matches. A cool fact is that I'm pretty sure this is the only Pokemon game which was never released in Japan. So how would you rate Pokemon Puzzle League? Do you love its 90s charm and the awesome animated videos included in the game or do you feel it's a cheap cash in on the Tetris Attack engine? Let me know in the comments below and until next time.